Effective assessment of sickness in neonates using sonography. Today we will perform Doppler ultrasound of radial artery. Radial artery Doppler is very important because in sick neonates, if umbilical artery cannulation cannot be done, the only other artery which can be cannulated is radial artery. So, radial artery, routinely radial artery is cannulated blindly, just putting a cannula into the radial artery without any aid. But in most of the units now they use ultrasound, especially Doppler ultrasound, uh, to identify the artery and cannulate. The failure rates will be very low if you utilize Doppler ultrasound radial artery. Just to give you the background, radial artery, so this is the palm, you know the stylart process, you all know that brachial artery bifurcates into radial and allar, radial artery will run on the radial side, you know this is stylart process, just about, just above that stylart process, of course anatomical snuff box what we call, so where exactly the radial artery runs. And the probe, they make sure that baby is very comfortable and the hand is restrained. You can see the hand is restrained, it is not moving. And you take adequate gel, make sure that baby is fed, baby is not in discomfort. And use the proper probe. This is the hockey stick probe. So it's very good for um, the vascular anatomy and for the Doppler ultrasound. And here I'm using this. Um, so, there are two important uh, views we take, one is the transverse view and the sagittal view. I will demonstrate how does the artery look on transverse view. So, I will show you, this is how you have to place the arm, um, just, this is the stellar, just above the stellar process, just above the stellar process. You can see that it is rounded. Can you see that? It is rounded and it is it is pulsatile. It is pulsatile. Anechoic area. You can see this is the area, anechoic area, and it is bound by hyperechoic area. You can see it is pulsatile. Usually it is rounded. Can you see that? This is the radial artery on transverse plane. I will put the color, you can see the color, see how rounded and anechoic sounded by hyperechoic. This is the radial artery on transverse plane. Now what I will do is, I will just make it as a sagittal plane, I just rotate this, rotate this, you can see the artery there, you can see that, you can see that and this is the artery on the Sagittal plane, and if I put color there, that's beautiful. You see how beautiful it is. This is the radial artery, the color Doppler on longitudinal plane. Very beautiful, you can see. You are on a sagittal plane. Can you see that waves? Systolic and diastole, this is how you have to identify radial artery using Doppler ultrasound. So, in the nutshell, on transverse plane and on the sagittal plane, you can you have to identify the artery and you make sure that this is the uh, wave you should get. And this is very important prerequisite before you cannulate the radial artery. Clear? Hello, like this video, share, and subscribe. Thank you.